Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course where you will learn how to optimize steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition. In this video we are going to be focusing on familiarizing ourselves with a sample model, specifying the steel design code, and specifying the appropriate yield strength of steel. We will now turn our attention to the sample model that was supplied with this training course. In STAD Pro Connect Edition, the typical workflow is to move from left to right through the workflow page control area. Before we begin the design process, let's first familiarize ourselves with the steel structure by reviewing the information that has already been created. If we take a look at the properties area, we will see that the section properties and material properties have been assigned to all of the members in the model. This model contains wide flange sections, HSS tubes, and angles that were assigned using the AISC sections database that is supplied with STAD Pro. This model also contains several steel rods which are acting as the vertical bracing. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the loading area. The loads in this model have already been created, including the dead load, live load, and seismic load. If we take a look at the load combinations, we would see that the AISC public load combination generator was used to generate LRFD style load combinations. This will be important when we get a little further and specify our steel design code that we're going to be using. Finally, if we take a look at the analysis area, we're going to see that we're going to be performing a P delta analysis for this model that considers both P large delta and P small delta effects. Every model must contain an analysis command before invoking any of the design commands. Now that we have become familiar with this model, we are now going to move forward to the design process, which will begin by specifying the appropriate steel design code. Once you're ready for this step, you're going to go to the workflow page control area and select the design tab. This will automatically bring up the steel design dialog. If you don't see the steel design dialog or wish to work on a different type of material, you can select the materials in the analysis and design tab in the ribbon toolbar. Here we'll see that if we select the steel material, it's automatically also going to bring up the steel design dialog. Now our first step in preparing our model for design and optimization is to select your design code. For this model, we're going to be selecting the AISC 36010 design code. Now this design code allows for both LRFD and ASD workflows. So the next step after that is to ensure that we select the proper method. To select the method for your design code, you're going to come down in the steel design dialog and click on your define parameters button. Now within the design parameters dialog, we're going to see all the different design parameters that can be assigned that'll both affect the behavior and the results of your model. The first parameter we're going to take a look at is this method parameter. And here is where you'd be able to tell the program whether or not you choose to do an ASD or LRFD design approach. For this model, we're going to select an LRFD design approach, which is consistent with our load combinations. We'll go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close. And now we can see that our import file is starting to take place with some design information. Now that we've taken a look at our design code and our method, let's go ahead and move a little further and take a look at the rest of our design parameters. We're now going to go to the steel design dialog and click on the define parameters button again. The design parameters are used to communicate design decisions from the engineer to the program. All design parameters have a default value which has been selected such that it is a frequently used value for conventional design. Depending upon the particular design requirements, some or all of the parameter values may have to be changed to model the physical structure correctly. If the default value of a particular parameter applies to an individual member, that parameter does not need to be assigned to that member. STAD Pro will always use the default values for the parameters unless instructed otherwise. So once you're ready to move on to your design parameters, it would be good practice to go ahead and review all the design parameters over in the left-hand pane of the design parameters dialog and see if they're 
default positions are appropriate for your particular model. Now if we select the FYLD parameter in the left hand pane, we're going to notice that this will be used to define the yield strength of steel. Now the current default for the AISC 360 is 36 KSI, which would be appropriate for the angle members in our model. So we're not going to need to assign a yield strength of steel to those members as the default value will automatically be used. We do, however, contain wide flange sections and also HSS rectangular sections, so we will need to overwrite the default for those, for those particular members. So I'm going to enter a yield strength of steel of 50 KSI, and then we'll click the Add button. And then I'm going to enter another value of 36 KSI. And again, we're going to click the Add button again. Now at this point, you should also review the rest of the parameters to see if there's anything else that's appropriate for your particular model. Now for today's class, we're going to be focusing on optimization. So we're going to assume that the rest of the default values for the design parameters would be appropriate. So we'll go ahead and just click the Close button at this point. Now if I scroll down in the steel design dialog, I'm going to see that these two parameters will need to be manually assigned to the members for which they're applicable. I'm going to start with my FYLD of 50. I'm going to highlight the parameter in the steel design dialog and then select my wide flange sections. Now the easiest way to do that is to go to your geometry tab in your ribbon toolbar where we're going to find all of our different selection tools. For this method, I'm going to select the by property name option, and then I'm going to select by property. This is a quick and easy way to make sure you've selected all the particular section types that need a 50 KSI yield strength assigned to them. So I'm going to select the W12 by 26. I'm going to say assign to selected beams, and then I'll go ahead and click assign. I'm going to repeat this process for the FYLD of 46. So I'll go ahead and select the tube sections, and then we'll go ahead and click Assign. At this point, we can go ahead and close and also save your model. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.